I'm Manuel Robles. I'm Latino and I enjoy it. If you know what movie that is from, put it down there in the comment box. My brother is not allowed to answer that because he knows, but uh, see if anyone knows that one. Hilarious movie. Got a mail day here, but first before I go over my mail, I want to uh, ask you all to give strong consideration to subscribe to the following people if you have not done so already. Carddog23. He is running a subscriber contest right now with two really solid prizes. Check out his link. Uh, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to him. Great guy. I've only had limited dealings with him, but he's very responsible and respectful. Uh, the next one is Scoff2244. Scott, he has helped a lot of people in a very short time with their set building on here. Again, that link right down here. And uh, I'm going to throw another plug out there for Sictifer2024. He's new to YouTube, but already got involved with some things, and I've been talking with him for quite a bit, and uh, I think he's going to be here to stay. Give each one of those guys uh, a sub, please. If you want to strengthen our community, find other people to trade with or just be involved with in general, these three guys right here. Give them a sub. Thank you. All right. A couple of cards that I got in for my set for this 2003 player collection. The first one is this, uh, as I call him, Miguel Tejeda. Little story about why I call him Tejeda. I started making up different names for players years ago just because I think it's funny to do that. I think it started with um, Ruben Drones. I started calling him Rubby Druggins. And let's see who else do we have names for. Uh, Tyler Thigpen was Ted Thigpen. Carlos Boozer was Chuck Buzzer. Robin Yount I call Bob Yunt. Uh, Albert Pujols, uh, of course, we call Al Pudgels. Uh, anyone whose name I can completely bastardize, I really enjoy doing that. It just makes it a little more fun, and uh, the kids think it's funny, too, my nephews and my son and whatnot. So. And a really sick Jeremy Burnitz. Not the greatest player, but that's an incredible patch. If we could show it the, how this thing's just busting off the top of that card. Unreal. And no, it's not fake, because who in their right mind would make a fake Jeremy Burnitz patch? But that's really nice. So, I've got a couple other packages here. The first one is from Hudson Fan 15, and I guess I'm clueless as to what he sent me. So, I'm just gonna bust into it and see. All right. It's like I'm all thumbs, I can't get into these packages. Is a set of cards in this first holder. Okay. Nice. God, I love these old school cards. A couple of. I love baseball history and football history too. Nolan Ryan, no hitter cards, seven no hitters. Which, just consider that for a while if you would. What it takes just to pitch one no-hitter, let alone seven of them. There's a Jason Bay. That's a feat, in my opinion, that will never, ever, ever be accomplished again. Seven no-hitters. That's why Nolan Ryan is probably my favorite pitcher, my favorite, maybe my favorite baseball player. Now, my favorite pitcher of all times, arguably, because of what he accomplished. On some fairly crappy teams, we've got a Philip Buchanan, uh, X Falcons, number to fifty. Uh, oh, and then two cards that I cannot show. Those are nice. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate those getting getting those out to me. And last, I have a package from Ty Durden five five five, and we'll add that name down here to people to subscribe to Todd. Really good guy here on YouTube. I don't know what he sent me either, but we're going to find out. I've enjoyed getting to know him a little bit here over the past month. Really decent guy. Uh, thanks for everything. Your videos are what got me back into the hobby as well as into this great community. 
I only wish that I would have found them before I moved to the Twin Cities. Move from the Twin Cities. Once again, thanks and keep the laughs coming. Nice clean handwriting there. I like it. Sharp. And, oh, it's nice. Got a nice Joe Morgan sweet swatch. I love Joe Morgan. Once again, let's do a Joe Morgan. Love that guy. And for Mini Boog, more for the pile for him to wheel and deal with his dad. He's never going to get caught up, and that's fine because that means chores and good deeds. That's how he earns his cards. Got Brian Brom, Sage Hit, and Prestige. Got some Brian Brahms for the Mini Boog. And a really sick, take this out so you can see it, out of the package. Because it's going to have glare. We'll just take this right out. Three color. This is a scratch ball scratch. Three color ball. Three color. Number to 25, Harry Douglas. Check that out. Check it out. Awesome. Thank you very much, Todd. I appreciate it. And I look forward to doing many more things with you here. I got 13 packages in today for the custom case break. Everything is purchased. Coming along nicely. I'm excited to break this. I think you guys are going to be impressed when you see how many really good quality cards can come out of a custom case break and how everyone's going to get hits. Maybe the way to go. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, have a great weekend and we'll see you all later.